What's up guys? Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how I turned this into this. And so if you're interested to see how I did this, stick around and I'm going to go ahead and get started. We're gonna do besides clean out the bottle because you know there's always a little bit left over we're gonna take our nozzle out and put it somewhere safe and then peel off this label I don't remember where I got this hand soap from um, who knows probably Walmart it could have been in the grocery store who knows so I'm gonna take this off it's a pretty sticky label but it came off nicely um, this is plastic and so if you put acetone on it, it's going to haze it up. I mean, not that it really matters because we're going to paint it anyway, but I am going to spray it with 91% alcohol and wipe it down with a coffee filter. If it's still sticky, it's not a big deal because I am going to cover it with, um, I'm going to try the sun yellow, but I am almost out. I am like bare bottom. I don't think I'm going to have enough to coat this. So, uh, then if I can't make it with that, I'm going to do the ivory silk since that's you know just it's not stark white but it should work so I'm gonna spray this and let's see if I can get some of the sticky off again it's probably gonna haze it up but it don't really matter because we don't need to see through this little sticky but it's all right so now I'm gonna get this on a pole and spray paint it and I will be back all right guys so I sprayed this down I managed to get two light coats of the sun yellow uh, it, again it's the rust-oleum and I let it dry for about 10 minutes before I sprayed it again and then I let it dry for about an hour and it was outside so it dried pretty quick and it doesn't have to be a hundred percent dried because you're gonna come in and how I applied my glitter this time was I used a spray adhesive, so it's Krylon spray adhesive. You can, of course, do it any way you want. You can do the epoxy method, you can do uh, tack it, you can do Mod Podge. I chose to use the Krylon uh, spray adhesive because I go in, I put a coat of glitter um, after I spray it, and uh, I go in with my second coat of Krylon over top of that glitter, and I give it a nice good spray again. Make sure you get your bottoms and up around the top. And then I'm gonna come in with a second coat of glitter. Now, I'm after I do that, I'm gonna let it dry for a couple of hours. So probably two, three hours. After my glitter is dried, I'm gonna come in with Rust-Oleum's Two Time Gloss Clear before I do my coat of epoxy or two coats of epoxy. In this case, it was two coats of epoxy before it's ready for the decal. All right, guys, so I put two quick coat um, coats of epoxy on this and it's pretty smooth. I did a super light sanding with, I think this is a 180 grit, um, just to smooth out a little bit more, but it really didn't need much um, because this is the fine glitter. So when you put two coats of epoxy over, you usually get pretty good coverage. So I um, am going to use this pre-printed vinyl. It is Oracle 651 and I got this at Antioch Graphics Supply. And so I cut out the strip. It is, this bottle is nine inches around. So I did 9.25 by two um, because I do want a little bit of, actually I'm peeling this off too soon. Um, I do want a little bit of um, overhang or overlap because I like, I like a little bit of overlap. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to peel this back and I'm gonna cut this. I'm actually gonna do the same on the other side because it, this isn't cut exactly to size, like when we do our print and cut. So there's like a little bit extra on the ends. So I'm gonna just, you guys can't see what I'm doing and I'm sticking here. Come on, come on up. So this pre-printed vinyl is pretty thin, so it's a little bit, it's a little bit different than what, um, handling the um, printable vinyl, which is what I use a lot. I'm not really used to working with 
this pre-printed stuff. So I'm gonna just lay this down, eyeball it up. I want it about in the center. And just I'm gonna try to line this up the best that I can. And that looks pretty lined up. So now that I've got the one end down. I am just gonna take my paper and just smooth it out as I go. I do it with my fingers. I do not do it with um, a squeegee because I can feel better for any bubbles or bumps, which there's a couple of bubbles right there. So this is the first time that I'm really working with pre-printed sheets. And I'm glad I'm not doing a full wrap because um, this, I already had gotten a couple of bubbles like right away. So I'm just gonna use my fingers and just smooth out little sections at a time as I go around, leaving the paper on as long as I can. This paper is super cute. I really, really love sunflowers. Um, and I know a lot of people love sunflowers. It's just so like cheery. So this is gonna make, you know, a really cute pump for the bathroom. Just moving this along. Slow and steady, take your time. You find that when you're doing crafts, if you're rushing, forget it. You're guaranteed to mess up. So now I'm just gonna peel this last little bit off. And just hold it up as I smooth it. And I'm gonna have a teeny tiny little bit of overlap. And so I wasn't sure, like I was like, I'm kind of winging this. I decided, you know, to do this battle in yellow. I decided that I was gonna put this on there. And then I was like, all right, so am I gonna put stripes around here? And I, w I decided that I wasn't gonna decide until I put it on. And so I think I do want some stripes and I'm not even sure what color at this point. So I am going to be back when I figure out what color that I want on here. Hey guys, I'm back with this. And so I decided to go with this like hunter green color and you know, after like just going over and over and over, I was like, all right, this is the, this is the color. So I'm just going to start where my seam is and I'm just going to go, I'm just going to wrap it all the way around, giving it even pressure, following the uh, line, the, what am I trying to say here? The line, the vinyl line. Yes, that's it. <laughs> the already existing vinyl line. eyeball it and I'm just gonna kind of like go in the middle like meet the dip like meet meet in the middle here and then I am gonna trim off the excess with my scissors I don't like using an exacto knife I know a lot of people do I'm just always afraid that I'm gonna cut through both layers and I don't want to do that so I just trim with my scissors. You do whatever is comfortable for you. So if you want to use your X-Acto, you can, or your craft knife, whatever you want to call it, I'll use my scissors. All right, so I'm going to peel the second one and I'm going to do obviously the exact same thing. I am going to go and just split the difference, go down the middle, follow my vinyl line and I'm gonna get, I'm gonna pull with nice even pressure. I don't wanna pull too much because this is the Oracle 651 and it can be pretty stretchy. 
So I don't want to pull too much because then I will thin out my stripe, which I don't want to do. But if I don't pull it tight enough, then it's going to bubble. So just nice, even pressure. Trim with my scissors. All right. I like it. Uh, you can choose obviously any color you want. And, um, but I really like the hunter green. So now I am going to put one or two coats of epoxy on whatever, um, whatever's going to give it a final coat. So if I get a good coverage and I don't have any lumps and bumps, I'm going to keep it with one. But if, um, you know, if I'm feeling some lumps and bumps, then I'll do a second coat and I'll be back with my final remarks. All right, guys, see you in a bit. All right, guys, this is done. I love how it came out. So pretty. So, you know, I, I really like to repurpose things. And so, you know, this was actually, you know, a really good bottle to repurpose. It's nice and sturdy. And so I think it's going to last a good long time. Um, you know, I'm always looking for things to repurpose. You know, it saves money and, you know, you can do lots of things. So you can do, you know, summer themed, you can do holiday themed, whatever. And so, you know, instead of buying, you know, new hand soaps every single time you need a hand soap, you know, just make one pretty, buy the refill bottles and just keep refilling it. So, um, so, you know, I skipped all the epoxy steps because, you know, you've seen the epoxy before. And if you haven't jumped back on, you know, my other channel, I, I show you epoxy and I'll miss every single video. But, you know, I just really wanted to just show you that, you know, you can take things and repurpose them. They don't, you don't have to buy things brand new. You don't have to go and buy, you know, new pumps from Amazon or Walmart or whatever. You can take an existing bottle, you know, of all different shapes and sizes, as long as it's a pretty decent, sturdy plastic and repurpose purpose it into something you know pretty for a guest bathroom or for your own bathroom kids bathroom just like think about like all the kids things you can do so um you know just keep an open mind when you're crafting and you know the sky's the limit so again everybody thank you for watching please leave a comment i love to hear your feedback uh i am going to list uh the products that i use down below or where you can find them of course this is you know this bottle i don't know where i bought it from um, so I'm repurposing it. So, you know, everybody's got hands open our house or just about everybody I know anyway. So, um, see you all next time. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm like losing my train of thought. Like my brain just went, phew, it went elsewhere. It went bye-bye. It went on vacation somewhere really pretty. I'm back now. So make sure you do give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and I will see you all next time. Bye.